Alright guys, how's it going? So generally when I do add-on reviews, I tend to make them free add-ons, or ones that are pretty current, but I like to throw a curveball in there every now and again, and this is Pi Menu Editor. Now this is a commercial plugin, it's available in Blender Market for $16, but you can also get it on Gumroad for $12. Now because it's on Blender Market, obviously there's a development fund contribution. So it's up to yourself where you buy it. Now this is not a new plugin by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually nearly four years old. But it's probably one of the most workflow enhancing tools that you can actually buy for Blender. And this is one of the reasons why I would like to put a bit of focus back on it. So a couple of days ago I was actually scripting my own menu and I forgot I'd actually purchased this plugin. Now most of the material related to it is 2.7, slightly older, so let's take a quick look. So if you come into user preferences, you'll see that we've got a whole bunch of options here. Now to get started, if you click here to add an item, it'll essentially let you add a pie menu, a regular menu, pop-up, stack key, panel group, hidden group, sticky key, macro operator, modal operator and a property. So in theory, it lets you build your own menus and own dialog boxes. And that's pretty powerful because it speeds up your workflow. So just for example, we'll make a pie menu. So you can initially see what it's done, it's essentially created a pie menu. Now the great thing about this plugin, it pretty much captures anything in Blender. So for example you can select it in a 3D viewport, cursor tools, there's a whole bunch of options and there's no limit to this plugin. So we'll just keep it in a 3D view and we'll set up a shortcut. So let's make it something like the P key. So one way I've found to make quick menus is, if we jump into Blender, so let's make a pie menu for objects. One method is you can go to add, mesh, and you can actually right click and you'll see it here, pie menu editor. And it'll actually let you add it to the pie menu. So we'll make it this one. We'll jump back into properties and you can see that it's got add cube. Now if we click here, we can actually assign an icon. So we can do something like this. So when we hit the P key, we've now got our own pie menu. Now this is a pretty basic function, you can go a lot deeper into this. So one of the menus that I've been using lately is, I've got my move tool, rotate tool, transform, select, and I've got a keyframe. So the keyframe's pretty handy. It just mitigates one step. So we'll take a quick look at some of the other options. So that's pretty much how you set up a pie menu. Now the great thing about this is, if you go into edit object, you can see that it's actually taking the script. Now if you know anything about scripting, if you go into the scripting window, any operation that you do is actually recorded down here. So it'll give you a few more options, so you're not necessarily restricted to just adding a cube. You can set the size of the cube, the location, rotation, so this is one step. Now keep in mind it goes a lot further and a lot deeper. You can do custom properties, you can do custom code, you can actually launch Python code via these. It's pretty much integrated within Blender, so anything you can think of, it can pretty much do. So in short, do I recommend Pi Editor? The answer is yes. So for 12 or 16 dollars, to be able to interactively edit menus, create menus, speed up your workflow, it's certainly worth it. Now you could spend maybe half an hour 40 minutes writing code for your own menu, which is perfectly fine, I, I recommend you actually do it anyway. But for $16 or $12 in Gumroad, you just save yourself a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and I highly recommend the plugin. Do me a favour guys, it's that time again, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know what to do, peace.